I think Bezos did it again, honestly. Taking off the best work, are you staying for the video now? Bezos, Amazon, is introducing Prime Taxis, baby. <laughs> yeah, they're getting in the robot taxi mix, guys. Amazon's self-driving robo-taxi, Zooks, just set out its first fleet in Los Angeles. Today, it's Tuesday, the 8th of April. And I don't know who's excited for it, but if you're excited, don't get too excited. They're not some cool new robo-taxi, they're Toyota Highlanders with a Zook's brain, if you, if you will, and a very human driver behind the wheel. So it's not exactly what was promised by other taxi companies. I'm thinking about Waymo. This actually marks Zook's, Amazon's robo-taxi, um, a very quiet entry into its sixth city. Yeah, it's in six cities already. Their main goal is data. <laughs> I know that sounds a bit harsh, but it is the messy LA-style data that they're after. From our potholes, our glorious potholes, our lane markings that are really bad, uh, it helps tell to run their autonomous system before full deployment in all metropolitan areas. LA traffic, the final boss. Zook's plan is to map the city now and then unleash a purpose-built robo-taxi without a steering wheel or even a driver. And all of that will take place later in the year, starting in Viva Las Vegas, baby, and all the way up to San Francisco. Unlike Waymo, Zooks isn't charging folks in LA for robo-taxi rides, while as much as they're just surveying the land, studying the street signs, and getting a general feel for the city, their fleet is actually entirely human-operated. The tech is, is in the car, but the autonomy is still, well, mostly marketing as it almost always is. Waymo's out here making straight buco bucks, okay? In Phoenix, San Francisco, Los Angeles, soon Atlanta. Zooks, well, they just recovered from a software issue. The software issue made their robo-taxis break super hard. Like, I mean, in the middle of panic kind of hard. But fear not, 258 vehicles of Zooks just got fixed. But the real reason that you should care watching this video is if Zooks is successful. It's a huge change for Amazon. They're not gonna be just transporting packages anymore, but they're transporting maybe some of the most valuable packages. Us humans. Think Uber, but again, without the labor. Right? Which, of course, was sort of the entire point of the gig economy, was to help humans. I laugh so I don't cry. Robotaxis obviously promise a convenience, but they also threaten to sidestep labor practices. I'm talking labor protections, unionized efforts. And again, this is just more concentration of power and capital in the few, i.e. Amazon. Currently, Zooks is testing in Foster City, Vegas, San Francisco without drivers. So they're out there. And by summer, Zooks does a hope that they can take the training wiggles off, so to speak, here in Los Angeles, my beautiful city. So be on the lookout for Zooks, uh, you know, so it can eventually replace your Uber driver and maybe tip your human driver while you still can, huh? Until next time.